Hey guys, this is Sebastian and Christine. This is Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Also, hit us up on social media if you're not already. We are Ninth Island Connection everywhere. We're Instagramming, we're TikToking, we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. We go live every single Wednesday between noon and 1 p.m. where we bring you an update on what to expect in Vegas that upcoming weekend. All right, on to the video. In this video, obviously we are at the Palms located just off of the infamous Las Vegas Strip and we're sharing with you guys why we love the Palms and think that this is definitely worth a visit whether you're a Vegas local or you're just visiting the Ninth Island of Las Vegas. One of the things that really took us by surprise is how beautiful the casino is. They did a complete renovation. Now this is operated by Yamava Band of Indians out of Southern California. This was also the first tribal owned and operated casino in all of Las Vegas. And their player's card is good here and Southern California. They do get a lot of traffic from Southern California too. It is absolutely beautiful. They've got a high limit area. They've got a sports book. I mean, this is worth just taking a walk through it and just checking it out, even if you're not gambling. They've got all of your favorite slot machines, as well as some different ones than Caesars and MGM properties do. So if you're looking for a different slot, come check it out. Also, the table minimums are gonna be a little bit lower, especially during the week, than you're gonna find on the strip because it's an off-strip property. One really cool thing we want to point out is how nice the art is all throughout the property. There's just a lot of cool photo ops and it's just really Vegasy and fun. Along with remodeling the entire casino, they've redone all of the rooms. They've got everything from your standard rooms, they've got suites, and they even have extreme suites, one of which has a full basketball court in it. This one here has two lanes, regulation bowling. That's Vegas, baby. You can even find rooms with pool tables like this one right here and poker tables.
So when it comes to the rooms, there is definitely something for every interest and every budget. Of course, we have to talk about the amenities, starting with the pool at the Palms. This pool is just beautiful, or I should say pools, because it's a pool complex, of course, but just a gorgeous way to get in that sunshine when you're here in Vegas. And of course, if you're hungry or thirsty, you don't have to leave the pool. They do have a restaurant. They also have cabanas, day beds, everything to just make it a great experience. And of course, we have to talk about the spa at the Palms. It is just a beautiful lobby area. They offer all sorts of services from hair, facials, pedicures, manicures, massages, you name it, they have it. They also have a fitness area for those who like to work off some of those buffet calories. When it comes to dining, you are not going to be disappointed. They've got something for everyone. If you've got a sweet tooth, this is your stop right here. They've got something for every palate and every budget. If you're looking for seafood, they are known for their buffet on Wednesdays and Thursdays with all-you-can-eat lobster. You're probably looking for more dining. We did two videos. I dropped the links in the description. One is just the lobster buffet. The other one overviews all of the dining in the entire property. Just because it's off strip doesn't mean you can't get a view. You, they do have restaurants with views of the mountains and the strip, as well as the pool. Now, as far as lounges, there are a few really cool ones that are located just off of the casino floor. And of course, we've got to talk about the ghost bar. Now, this was famous back in the day when the real world was staying at the Palms way long ago. And the Ghost Bar did close down, and when the new ownership took over the Palms, they reopened it and revamped it, and it's definitely a party spot as well as a spot for entertainment. And speaking of entertainment, in addition to things happening at the Ghost Bar, there's also Pearl Theater, which hosts several different types of events, comedians, musicians, even different cultural events, it's such a beautiful theater and it's a really small, intimate setting. So regardless of what type of event you're going to, there's really not a bad seat in the house and you feel like you're involved in the whole show. We happened to catch the old Lahaina Luau there last fall, which was pretty awesome. They also have a movie theater located within the casino and you might think, why would you go to a movie when you're in Vegas? But you have to remember, this is also a casino that a lot of locals go to. And of course, it's not your average movie theater. 
All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. We want to hear from you as always. What are your thoughts on the Palms? Have you been since they've remodeled and reopened? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget in the description, you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. We are also all over social media. We're Instagramming, we're TikToking, we're threading, we're Xing, we're everywhere. We're Ninth Island Connection. And we do go live every single Wednesday between noon and 1 p.m. where we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming weekend in Vegas. We'll see you next time. Ninth Island Connection highlights Las Vegas businesses, entertainment, events, and activities on and off the strip, keeping our viewers connected with the Ninth Island of Las Vegas. From local mom and pop restaurants to those owned and operated by top chefs, from kitchen action to the inspiration behind the dishes, we deliver the culinary creations of Vegas. From Las Vegas entertainers and athletes to all of the exciting activities and experiences around the Vegas Valley, we keep our viewers connected with all of the excitement that the entertainment capital of the world has to offer. Of course, we can't forget about the casinos that make Vegas, Vegas. With exclusive tours of the incredible amenities and beautiful accommodations, getting right in the heart of the casino floor action and entertainment, as well as interviews with casino owners, CEOs, GMs, and executive chefs, we bring the Las Vegas Casino into our viewers' homes. Highlighting lesser known areas like the Fremont East District, the Arts District, and Brewery Road, we bring attention to these small businesses that have become fast favorites in the local community. We bring our viewers a complete Vegas experience. We also invite our viewers along as we venture into the great outdoors of the Las Vegas Valley, sharing short road trips, hikes, and the unique sights found in the Mojave Desert. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.